strange. And now we're going to move on to kind of the next story of today. And that is, of course, we got John Wall um, trying to basically get a request to trade out of Houston. Same thing with Eric Gordon as well. Um, this trade goes, the Houston Rockets and John Wall have agreed to seek mutual beneficial trade that will remain him around the team, but not play any games in the meantime. Uh, John Wall is owed about $91.7 million over the oh, next God. two years on his contract. I never say never in the NBA, said Zach Lowe. We've seen these mega contracts traded for each other. I just don't see a trade here. And so I don't really know what happens when they really wait a long time and then there's a buyout. I think it's a hurry up and wait until next summer, said McMahon. I think that's what ends up happening. And, of course, I think this was on a podcast uh, from Zach Lowe and uh, Tim McMahon. Um so this is kind of an interesting one. You know, like I said, you know, the Houston Rockets in the draft went with the youth movement. They had a bunch of great draft picks, I think, in my opinion. You got Jalen Green. Uh, you got Christopher. Yeah. You got um, Sangoon. And then, of course, you got uh, Garuba as kind of like the rounded. Kevin Porter Jr. Kevin Porter Jr. also in that mix as well. And you got a really nice young core. And I do agree in the terms of like, Yes, you know, you love the experience of the veterans of John Wall and Eric Gordon, but I do like the idea of just being like, we're just going to be young. We're going to see how this young team does, and then eventually we'll add the veterans because you do need a veterans on this team. Um, and there probably is some that, you know, I'm probably missing out, and so I don't want to disrespect those veterans. But um, I do think that this is one of those things that you look at it, uh, and I think that you're looking at a situation where, I just don't know who trades for John Wall because that contract is huge. Uh, I mean, I could throw one out there. I mean, I mean, his contract on the books is very big, but another guy maybe they can try to go after is Ben Simmons. Uh, maybe they can slide. Um, what's his name? Uh, what's his face? Uh, the kid they just drafted. Who? Uh, Maxi Jaylen Green, maybe to the two. Oh, Jalen Green, the two guard. Yeah, and start Ben at the one. But I mean that they could try that. Um, I mean, there's not too many locations you can move him with such a high number on the books. I mean, forty-one yeah. million dollars for oh my god, that's re like who's gonna want to unload the boat for John Wall? Like the guy's about to be thirty. Well, he's thirty-one now, but if they wait until next summer, he's just gonna get a little older and he's he's gonna be done pretty much, man. Like. Whoever trades for him, it could be someone like the. He, he's expensive, man. Forty one, forty one point yeah. two million dollars owed. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It, it would have to be Philly. It would, ha it would have to be Philly. But then again, he doesn't want to go to uh, Texas, you know, or Houston. He wants to go to L.A. So whoa, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the Celtics. Maybe we could trade uh, Al Horford. And maybe another piece. It's gonna have to be Al Horford Josh and like Richardson? Marcus Smart, or it's gotta be. I think it's gotta be Al Horford and and uh, Marcus Smart just to even match the contract for contract. Like that's how expensive he think, is. Because I think uh, Al's making what twenty twenty three million twenty four, and I think I think uh, the max Marcus will make is twenty one twenty one to twenty two million in his third or fourth year. I think. Right now, I think he's making like 19, so it can work. I mean, they can maybe try to dump some – I don't know. They, mm -hmm. they can make it work, but that's the only high scenario I can see, man. Like, who would want to who would want to trade for that? I mean, you don't know what you're getting at the end of the day, like as far as durability, 32 games, 40 games. Yeah. What, el what I'll, else? I'll pull, like, I'll pull up his, his stats. Durability, yeah, uh, I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. But before we kind of do that, I just want to say, I know this is going to be in the video, but uh, shout out to Justin. His uh, baby girl was born yesterday, so shout out to him. <laughs> Hopefully uh, everything is going well with Congrats. you and the child and your wife. You know, props to her. I know that's not an easy task. I don't. I couldn't even imagine it, but uh, uh, happy for you, man. Glad, uh, glad to see the family gain another member for you. So, Justin, shout out to you, man. Um. And, and, you know, kind of moving back to the story, like you talked about, Tyrese, it, it's like you look at the stats, you know, you're not really almost you're not wowed by any of the stats at this point. You know, like, you know, the three point percentage, the field goal percentage, it's always been sub 50 for his whole career. Um, you know, three point shot, you know, shooting 30 percent last year on 30 32 games. I know it's only 32, but it's still a lot. Um, and even when you go to his three point percentage now, it's not like it's. 
getting any better. It's it's just it's kind of stayed the same, if not has gotten worse, especially after his 2017 2018 year in Washington, where he played 41 games. I'm not sure what happened in that. I think that no, that wasn't the COVID year. I, there must have been some injury that took him out for a while. But it's like, you know, he hasn't played over 60 games in like three a couple years now. And that's a concern for me. If I'm one of these teams that are like, OK, I want to give John Wall a chance, see if he can't be the spark plug to help our team win. So it, to me, it's kind of one of those things I look at it and I'm just like, I'm not really convinced right now with, with, with John Wall, but also when, from John Wall's perspective, I think he needs to find the right team so he can stay and get another NBA contract because I think he wants to play more than just two more years with that 90 million. He wants to play at least another four. And if I'm him, I'm trying... <laughs> I know it might be impossible, but I'm looking as him. I'm looking to see what I can do to get four years. Oh man, his, his hell! I, I I would want it to. I would want it to, but realistically, like it's not gonna happen. I mean, the injuries he's been through alone the last what mm -hmm. three years. There's no way he's gonna have another four years at a high level. I mean, John Wall was really never like that type of player. It's just they offered him that amount of money because that's all they had. I mean, who was trying to go to D.C. in the cold? Like, what, to see the White House? I mean, <laughs> I mean, let's just be real. <laughs> I mean, like, come on, $41 million. This is clear to me. They're going to buy him out, and he's probably going to take a vet minimum, try to redeem himself, and then try to get, a, you know, another contract. But he's done getting a max deal. He, they're going to buy him out, man. There's yeah. no way a team is going to take that on their books. There's just no way. Um you know, I wouldn't be shocked if he tries to go somewhere like the Clippers. Um, that's been a rumor. Know. Yeah, um, that's a real good destination for him is the Clippers. And I would also look out as a dark horse is the uh, Miami Heat. Miami Heat, really? Yeah, I, I, I honestly think so. Just because uh, Drogic is getting old, you know, he's kind of getting to his injury point. Mm -hmm. And I think if they can get a buyout, which I think they will. I think the Miami Heat, it kind of fits his personality, kind of flashy a little bit. Miami lifestyle with Jimmy and the boys. I think he would do really well there. I mean, he could try to redeem himself and maybe try to get 15 to $17 million for a four-year contract. But he's done getting the twenty, you know, the 20s and the 30s, and he's for yeah. damn sure not getting no 40. So, you yeah. know, um, I yeah, think 2020 I, might be something and before I kind of keep going. Justin, you said two baby girls almost got a starting five. WNBA ain't ready for us. <laughs> hey, man, keep keep training them, man. Keep training them. Uh, keep training. Um, I mean, shoot. Uh, how old is John Wall? Feels like he's been in the league for a while now. So John Wall is 30. Uh, it's kind of crazy because I remember. Oh, he's going to be 31. I remember watching him in high school, man. That's crazy. His highlight tape. Um yeah. But uh yeah, just you know turn 31. I mean just to kind of look at the stats again and just kind of see what teams are really available. I mean I, I think one like you said, I think one team could be honestly the 76ers if they're trying to kind of get rid of Ben Simmons. Again, I if I'm the 76ers, I'm probably not doing that. I'm just going to no. I'm letting it ride. Um uh, I could see maybe the Dallas Mavericks, but except they don't really have anything to to get him. Uh, Mark's you know, not doing that. He's a smart guy. He's not gonna unload some assets like uh, the, I forget his name, but the point guard who was Branson. What's his name? A little short. I think he went to Villanova or somewhere. Oh, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh man, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, but Bronson. He's not gonna load, yeah, Bronson. He's not gonna load guys like that and try to load the boat for a guy who's injury. Prone. I mean, he's never. He hasn't played over fifty games in three years. He's he's done. Like, if it's a buyout, yeah. I mean, if he gets bought out, yeah, Jalen Bronson. You know, you, yeah, Jalen Bronson. If he gets bought out, I mean, they say here we'll give you this twenty million or twenty five million, and he'll take it. Yeah. Just to get him off the books and, sh and shed some salary, but teams are going to be trying to go after him because he's just going to sign a vet minimum. So you're going to probably even have teams like the Lakers trying to go after him, even though they're loaded. No, nah. like the Clippers. I feel I like it, the, Clippers. It, the Clippers. I feel like are the only team, really, in my opinion, that are looking for him, just because 
you know, they don't really have like a starting three. Like they have like they have some nice players. They have Batum. They have, you know, Paul George. They have Kawhi Leonard, but they don't really have that point guard that they're looking for. You know, they thought right, they had it in right. Rondo uh, last year and that just didn't work out with them. And then now you turn into a situation where you're still looking for that person. You saw, you know, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George absolutely bored out of their mind listening to a rock concert uh, for their new stadium <laughs> that's being built, yeah. uh, which I actually think is a good idea for them if they want to be their own team. I think that's a great idea to get their own stadium. Um, oh, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, other than that, you know, it's just like there's not really a team, honestly, that I can look at and be like, yes, this team fits. Like, the only teams are the 76ers or the Clippers at this point because no other team Miami to me makes well. sense. Miami, I could see it, but I'm still kind of like they got Kyle Lowry. They spent the money for him, so I don't see them. Oh, yeah. I don't see them kind of spending more money on a point guard when they don't need to, unless, you know, something drastically happens where like Kyle Lowry is just not the same Kyle Lowry, or you get a situation where you have um, them just trying to surplus their team. But other than that, I don't see it. I wouldn't count it out, man. I mean, uh, I mean, Kyle Lowry is kind of getting injury prone, man. Like I just don't see him holding up. You know, the only reason why he was doing so well is because they had Kawhi Leonard and they could shed some light off of him. But, Mm -hmm. I mean, the guy's 36 years old now, so it's like John Wall wouldn't be a bad idea for an insurance policy off the bench to redeem himself. Um, But, like, I agree. I I agree. Uh, What was that? I was going to say, could you see him in uh, in Minnesota? Oh. (laughs) Uh, No, I can't see him in Minnesota. He's not going to want to go to no damn Minnesota. (laughs) I don't think anybody does, to be honest. He, he, yeah, he he he's gonna want to go to Miami, L.A., the Clippers, L.A. as in the Clippers, um, Miami, or uh, you know, uh, what was the other team? Wizard reunion? Maybe the huh? Wizard reunion? Cause you see him going back to 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 D.C. Doing doing the Dougie and uh, the John Wall. Oh no, nah, he's done in DC <laughs> after how they did him. Yeah, I mean I, I don't blame you know, him. He's not going back. He's not going back there. Like he loved that city, but they should have got rid of him years ago while his value was high. I mean John Wall to me, he was good, but he wasn't great. Like he wasn't no game changer, man. He he can dunk on you every now and then, like. But you know they had to give him the money because mm. who want to come to that city? Yeah. Dang, he shot so now, horribly in 2011, oh yeah. 2012. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He He's never been a shooter. He's a more of a speed guy, get to the cup, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can dunk on you every now and then, maybe hit some jumpers. But he can get you 19 or 20 points a night consistently if he tries. If he doesn't try, he's getting like 14 and 8 and six boards. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know, but I think he's going to get bought out. He's going to get bought out, and I think he's going to the Clippers because that's the only team that 100% makes sense because Reggie Jackson, I mean, that's the only guy they got. If he gets hurt, they're screwed. Who they got after that? They don't got nobody after Reggie. Yeah. Rondo's gone. Yeah, it makes sense to get him. It has to be him. It has to. Unless, 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 Nah, I was going to say he could try to go to the Suns, too, on a minimum deal and try to back up Chris Paul because Chris Paul gets injured a lot. I mean, it would be a good backup instead of Cameron Payne. Exactly. But, I mean, we'll see what happens, man. You know, I think John Wall would be curious case to see, like, where he goes and what his future holds. Obviously, it's not going to be with the Houston Rockets now um, as they kind of seek to look for a trade. So, you know, we'll let you guys know and let us know in the comment section down below. What do you guys make of John Wall requesting a trade and basically the Rockets going with this youth movement right now with the fact that most of their older veterans want to leave? Like, Eric Gordon wants to leave. John Wall wants to leave. Um, and it's going to be, like I said, a curious situation to see who um, replaces John Wall or like where who John Wall replaces in the league right now because there's some spots and opportunities for him to be the starting point guard. But it's going to be curious to see um, how much he gets paid afterwards. Like, will he get the, the at least get you know 15 to 18, or you guys think that he could be a 20 mil player? Let us know in the comment section down below because I do think that it is going to be a very uh, Interesting if it does go to a buyout and he's basically on the market for uh, 
Lord knows how much. I mean, it's going to be very. Uh... Oh, yeah, it's going to be very low. Yeah. I mean, especially, you know, no very... one wants to pay the 91 million and then you. Oh, no. Hell no. Like, so. like, honestly, honestly, like he's going to get bought out. Like whoever trades for him must be really, really desperate, really desperate really desperate because he's just if it's minnesota or somewhere he's just gonna demand a trade again yep demand a trade and then get bought out yeah exactly so you're gonna be losing you're gonna be paying him money and losing him for nothing (laughs) so you're getting robbed (laughs) like he he's gonna get bought out by houston man i'm a hundred percent sure he's gonna get bought out by houston because nobody wants that contract that's like lebron numbers yeah for no lebron stats (laughs) <laughs> basically exactly. or not even the same lebron stats but like i said let us know in the comment section down below what you guys make of this story um tyrese 